Hello and welcome to For Your Journey. On this month's episode, we're going to be talking about the kingdom. It's our royal episode. <laughs> because uh, in the recent Pentecost service, Chief Apostle Schneider used this phrase that I, I hadn't heard before, or at least this way, when he talks about the, the prefiguration of the kingdom. I thought that was very interesting. That stuck out to me. And wanted to dive deeper into the, the kingdom and, and this prefiguration part of it. Mm -hmm. I believe it is connected to when he said... Because he said the uh, the Holy Spirit is giving us uh, different things. The mm -hmm. guarantee, the seal, and then the pledge. And uh, the pledge was the one that he even said uh, another funny term. He said it's like a down payment mm -hmm. or a deposit on eternal life and uh, the eternal glory uh, sharing with Jesus. And I must say, it also took me back a little bit to say, what what is he saying there? But then when he explained it, it's quite beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, that already because we have the gift of the Holy Spirit we can begin to enjoy the benefits of the kingdom of God already here on earth. Mm. And the Holy Spirit allows that uh, when we allow him to grow and, and, and to help, help us in our life. Mm -hmm. And maybe even uh, rather than allow him to grow, because he's, he's in his fullness, like allow yeah. his influence yeah. to grow within exactly. us and, and have more control over our lives. And, and that we're, we're concerned more and more with, with his influence. Mm -hmm. you know, in our lives, and, and that reflects in the congregations as well. Um, that also ties in with the Lord's Prayer when we're praying for your kingdom come. You know, that's not just a, a future thing. Right. It's, yeah. it's, it's uh, two meanings. Mm -hmm. It, of course, means the future kingdom, but it also means that the Lord in his kingdom comes to us now. And that's something quite uh, revolutionary in a way when we consider that, because we could grow weary of waiting for the Lord. Yeah. But if we already experience the joy of the kingdom... Today, in our life, in our family, in our congregation, then we won't grow weary of waiting for him mm -hmm. because he's already near us. The presence of God is near to us. Mm -hmm. It's like in the song Blessed Assurance where it talks about this foretaste of mm -hmm. glory divine, you know, that we're experiencing it now already. And that was another word the chief apostle used a lot. Yeah, uh, he said it, it's a foretaste of the kingdom. And that happens when... In two ways, actually, when our love grows for God and for one another, and it's possible again because in Romans five five it says mm -hmm. the the Spirit of God is is uh, brought that into our hearts, and so now it's possible to love like God loves. So that's one way, and the other way is that this kingdom begins to grow in us because we we grow in the attributes of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. and even some of the things that He did are actually happening in a parallel way, so to speak. What do you mean by that last part, that parallel way? Well, you recall we talked once about how he said to John the Baptist, the blind see, the mm -hmm. deaf hear. Mm -hmm. And now that actually happens too. In a congregation where the Holy Spirit is active, already the kingdom begins to grow there when the communication is open. There's no mm -hmm. blocking of communication. Mm -hmm. And the relationships grow deeper together because each one accepts the other. Mm -hmm. That was a wonderful thing the chief apostle said to at Pentecost about the differences. And it's, it's quite neat because on one sense, the Holy Spirit helps us overcome, let's say, the aggravating differences that we see in one another. Right. And on the other hand, he shows us it's good that we do have differences because that makes us stronger together as a unit, as a, as a community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God's a, a God of diversity, even just when we look at creation, the abundance of, of course, you know, types of flowers and spiders and all kinds of everything else yes you know so okay no we can translate to to the congregation that we should be experiencing that and, and embracing that that call to bring the kingdom now already mm -hmm. so. yes absolutely okay awesome thank you very much thank you and thank you for joining us on this episode of for your journey if you have any suggested questions or topics for future discussion you can find us on facebook or twitter and this has been for your journey <laughs>